Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to build a Docker based pipeline from scratch. So what exactly we are going to do is we are going to basically create a Docker file, build an image out of it and deploy that image on a server on an EC2 instance. Uh, and we'll do all this using a GitHub action, right? So this is going to be a pipeline. So anytime when we put in any commit in our Git repository, uh, the pipeline would kick in and it will deploy the latest uh, uh, docker image onto the server right so that's what we are actually going to do and yeah let's get started so as you can see on my screen these are my two servers one is my runner so this is where the docker pipeline would get executed and there is another server called deployment so this is where we are going to do the deployment so this is where the uh, docker image would be deployed right now if i go back to my github you can see we created a docker app uh, repo right so we don't currently have any files over here uh, i actually created one index.html for testing so I, but i've deleted that as well because we are going to do everything from scratch uh, i'm not going to commit files from my terminal i'm directly going to create files in github right so we'll just go and add a new file and we'll call this as index.html and what we are going to deploy is uh, basically a simple website right uh, if you take into larger picture uh, the concept uh, the concept remains the same for the pipeline i mean instead of a simple website index index.html uh, you can have a complex uh, application a java application maybe a python application right where you are actually uh, first building that application then creating some jars and then copying that jars into a docker file right something like that you can do but here i'm just keeping it simple so i'm going to create an index.html and it is going to be very simple index.html where i'll have an h1 tag uh, i'll just call it docker deployment successful and h1 close that's all i'm going to do in this file so let's commit a changes commit it all right so now we have an index.html i'm going to add another file which will be my docker file so this is going to be a simple docker file uh, let's call it docker file and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use the nginx image so from nginx latest so this is going to be my base image i'm only going to copy index.html to user share nginx html index html this is basically going to override the default index.html which uh, comes with the latest index image i'm going to expose port 80 so that we know that application is running on port 80 and last we are going to run a command which is basically going to run nginx is nginx comma fng comma daemon off all right and that's pretty much it uh then it's like ga daemon off so i think yeah that's that's pretty much it let's commit our changes And now we are going to go back and we are going to create another file that would go into the dot github uh, directory right under workflows and file name could be say deploy dot yaml right so this file I've already written because this is 
a big file so I've just written it on my uh, VS code and I'm just copying and pasting it over here and then I'll explain what exactly I'm doing let me put this over here so you can see the name of this pipeline is docker ci cd pipeline when will this get triggered it will trigger on push on the main branch and then we have a build and test deploy job so you can see this is running on the self-hosted runner so this is going to run on our uh, runner which we created in the last video and now we come back to come to the steps so the first step is actually which is going to check out this repo and this is going to log in into my docker hub using the docker hub username and docker hub password so these two things I have set in as secrets. I showed you in the last video as well how you can basically create secrets in uh, GitHub for a repo, right? Then we are using a build push action which is going to build this image, right? And then it is going to push that image, all right? And then the last step is where we are actually deploying this to an EC2 instance. So we are using a custom action, SSH action, right? Uh, again, we have the host and the username and the private key set up as secrets in GitHub repo. So we are using those directly. And then we are running a script. So we are first stopping any web app which is running. So this is the web app which uh, the name I'm giving to my app. This could be anything because uh, the, the, I mean, the way I'm uh, putting this uh, uh, image into my docker hub is with the name web app so that is why the name web app right and then i'm i mean if it is not true just stop this remove this pull the docker image from the uh, from the docker hub and then run the docker uh, image right so that's that's what this action is actually going to do so let's commit our changes And let's go to actions and you can see it has already triggered this action build test deploy and let's see if it fails somewhere I'm assuming it will fail and then we'll fix it right if it fails we'll fix it And it has failed on the EC2 deploy. All right. And it has timed out. Okay. So that's probably. Let's look at the security groups of our instance. Uh, but we do have SSH open. All right. So don't see any issues over here all right so if we look at this our build and push was actually successful so we are good over here but our deploy was actually a failure so I'll just pause this video for a second and try to figure out what went wrong and then come back and I'll also show you guys what actually went wrong right okay so I think I figured it out what is wrong so uh, I actually shut down my uh, deployment server and I've restarted it and the IP actually has changed right so I think that is what the problem is uh, where are the secrets come on secrets actions so this EC2 host so this is I think <clears throat> so let's try and edit it and so this is the new host let's copy this put this over here update the secret yes okay the secret is updated and let's try again 
will rerun all the jobs and hopefully come on So our build and push is working fine so we don't have any and you can see successfully oh so this was quick right you can see our deployment actually is successful so now what i'm going to do i'm actually going to go and ssh onto my deployment server and see do we actually have the deployment done so let's do docker ps so this is my server and you can see there is a web app actually running and it just created 26 seconds ago so what next we can do is actually copy this endpoint go to the browser and try to hit this endpoint and you can see docker deployment successful so this is what we had in our index.html right so yeah that's pretty so i mean if you understand the concept the basic concept behind this uh, you can deploy any complex application. This was very simple, right? So this was just a simple web application. But if you think through, just think, I mean, if you have a Java application, so at the end, what you are creating, you are either creating a jar file or a war file, right? And you're putting that in a Docker file. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you are doing a Docker deployment, no matter what kind of application you're building a Python application, PHP, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're deploying a Docker file. Or a docker image right so just concentrate on that and everything would become simple <coughs> anyway uh, that's pretty much for this video i wanted to keep uh, in the next video so this was like i mean nobody does deployment on ec2 instances and nowadays especially single i mean suppose i have to deploy on 100 ec2 instances i'm not going to create uh, those many secrets in my github repo right so the next deployment we are going to do would, would be on a kubernetes cluster so we are going to deploy the same image onto a kubernetes cluster all right so i'll show you how you basically add kubernetes cluster to your repo how does it authenticates and stuff like that right and then we'll do the deployment the concept would be the very much same uh, we'll use docker github actions to do that any commit any changes would trigger a pipeline and the pipeline would deploy that image all right so that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.